<laughs> Ready, Jesse? Okay, um, last thing I want to do, guys, is show you how to convert from radians to degrees. So now we're going to do the exact opposite, but we need to think of a ratio that we're going to use. So if you guys remember, if this is 3 pi, um, 3 pi over 3 pi over 2, that's in terms of radians, right? So if I was going to go back and use my, if this is in radians, I need to remember how can I rate my, um, if I say, remember my our ratio previously was pi is to 180 degrees, where our radian was over the degree, right? And that worked because our degrees canceled out. Well, here I need to cancel out my radians. So here, I'm not going to have, if I have like a radian over 1, uh, radian over degree, that's not going to cancel out, right? So here's what I'm kind of looking at. Here I have a radian. We know that the ratio pi is to 180. Pi radians is 180 degrees. But I can rewrite that and say 180 degrees is to pi radians, right? Yeah. So therefore, I'll rewrite this as times 180 degrees over pi radians. Then, what you guys notice is, remember, we want to find what the degrees are. So our radian divided by radian is going to, like what we say, cancel out. Our pi's now cancel out. So I'm left with 3 over 2 times 180. And therefore, that answer is 270 degrees. Right? Because we still have our degrees left. So it's going to be 270 degrees. So there's two ratios that you guys need to remember. It's either you're either going to use pi or these two. Either you can use pi over 180 or 180 over pi. And the way that I like to remember it, because it is kind of hard, which one do you use? The way I like to remember it, if I want to find degrees, that's the one about what I, what I want on top. If I want to find radians, I want to have the radian on top. Because remember, whatever's on the bottom is going to cancel out with what you're trying to find. Okay? Yes? Question? Okay. Make sense? A little bit? 